thanks for joining us on the cafe. The New Zealand premiere of the one-woman show, Grounded, is about to take place at Dunedin's Fortune Theatre. Here to tell us all about it is award-winning actor and general all-round cool person, Claire Chittam. How are you, Claire? Yeah, nice. And so thanks, Mike. It's nice to have you back in New Zealand, because I know you've kind of been on and off. You yeah, know. been so, away a little bit, back and forth. But now you're here permanently, which is good. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Grounded. What is this show all about? Yeah, um, I got sent this script at the start of the year, and it's a one-woman show, as you said, but it's, uh, I suppose a lot of the time one-woman shows or one-man shows tend to be somebody playing, you know, 15 different characters or something and telling many stories. And this is one character, uh, one story... It, but it's about, you know, an hour, 20 minutes of this woman's very, very interesting journey. Um, she is called the pilot, mm -hmm. and she is a fighter pilot in the US military. Uh, not a topic I'd normally be drawn to. <laughs> mm. Like, honestly, when I first sort of heard that, I was like, oh, OK, not kind of my thing. But that's actually, I realised, a lot to do with... Um, you know, it's a, it's a scary topic. It, 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 what's going on with the US military is a scary topic and something we don't always think is very close to us. Basically, I started reading the play and kind of fell in love with it. It's really beautifully written. Um, and it's about a woman who... It's sort of more the journey of a career woman who uh, has this rock star kind of job, uh, but gets pregnant, um, unexpectedly Ooh. falls in love, and, and goes down that path that she didn't expect to. And then when she wants to go back to work, she gets reassigned to flying drones from a small air-conditioned windowless trailer in the middle of the Las Vegas desert and wow. sort of pressing the button and killing people from a distance. So it's, um, it's a pretty interesting psychological journey that this woman goes on. Um, and once I started to get into it, really topical as mm, well. You nice. know, like I, I, I think it was something around the time actually, um, it was unfortunately either Paris or the Pakistan park bombing had kind of happened and I went, Normally that's something, as I said, that I would resist as an idea, but the, um, the, this idea seems to be in our, in our, on our screens and, and in our rooms these days. It's not so far away anymore, so oh. it was pretty appealing. But a one-person show, I mean, <laughs> crazy. Is that something you always wanted to do? Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if I'd ever set out to do it. It's definitely something that absolutely appealed. But I'm not as clever as the likes of a Madeleine Sami or someone who can write multiple characters and go off and, you know, make their own. Oh, but, but it must be daunting up there holding a whole mm. show together by yourself. It's become a lot more terrifying <laughs> since I started rehearsing. How do you how do you show how do you show you're falling in love? Do you do that? <laughs> There's a lot of mime going on. We're bringing back mime. Okay, okay cool. No, I, I've got to say, actually, there is there is a lot of... It's a really... Because it's a current topic, there is a lot of um, audio-visual stuff that um, is, has been worked on. Um, students from Otago, Otago Polytechnic have been um, shooting and building all of this design element for us. So it'll be a little bit like watching TV as well as watching me. So there'll be a right. distraction. So you don't necessarily have to watch me for oh, that long. OK, cool. no, it sounds fascinating, actually. Really looking forward to seeing that. Um, and you should go and get your tickets as well. Yes, so you can go and see look it. out. Um, what else have you been up to? Because I know this isn't just what you've been doing. You just recently, last week, launched something, didn't you? Yeah, um, I've got a little sort of side project on the go, which I've, has been bubbling away for a long time, which I've just sort of launched and um, it's called Good For You and um, it's a little I suppose passion project around um, videos to try to teach people about things that might be healthy and uh, and help create a little bit of happiness in people's lives so it's in the health and well-being um, uh, genre yep. and um, I sort of I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease years and years ago and you know was pretty public at talking about how I bet that um, but health and well-being has always been a bit of an obsession of mine and, and I think, you know, holistic health is a really interesting um, kind of idea at the moment that it's just everyone's sick and we need to do stuff to kind of help make people healthier. Well, you this are is busy. my attempt at that. Anyway. Nice work. Okay, yeah. great having you. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's really unfortunate we've run out of time because yeah. oh, yeah. very interesting lady. Thanks so much for joining us. Good luck with the play. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Nice.